Hello, my name is Scott Yablonski, and I am an artist who was born and still resides in Denver, Colorado, in the United States of America. My painting titled Chelsea Morning had its start in 2013 when I went with my best friends on a three-week springtime trip to the Netherlands and London. As an avid gardener, I was thrilled to get to see bulbs and other spring flowers in their prime. One of my bucket list items while in London was to see the Chelsea Physic Garden. It is one of the oldest continuously cultivated gardens in the area, actually established in 1673. On our walk to the garden, we passed by a number of homes with wisteria vines in full bloom. I took numerous pictures of them in the section of the painting, including the brick and stone wall and the wisteria in bloom, are from some of these many photos. I knew one day I would paint this scene or a semblance of it, and in 2019, the other piece of the puzzle came into focus. The dark pigeon was actually from a shot I took in the river walk in San Antonio, Texas, and the bird hardly showed up, except for the beautiful iridescence of its feathers as it sunned itself on the warm stone. So as I was looking for images to use, I remembered this stone and brick wall, and a perch for the bird was found. The lighter stone, it seemed, was a perfect foil for the dark bird and would show it off like a jewel in a jewel box. I did several sketches to decide on the final positioning and then drew a slightly larger than life drawing of the image. Often with my acrylic work, I build up color in layers of washes and dry brushing to get the effects I desire. The background was painted first, then the bird, and lastly the wisteria blossoms. The very strong pattern of iron bars and shadows was a useful compositional element to work with to frame the bird. I felt I needed the heavy directional lines to intersect with the pigeon to keep pulling focus back to the bird. This was important since the bright blossoms of the wisteria were drawing attention with their pops of color and form, and helped to convey a gritty, urban, suburban, ubiquitous scene for a gritty, universally seen but often overlooked bird. I hope that when you view this painting, you are transported to a quiet street near London or to somewhere more familiar to you where natural and man-made elements combine in a beautiful way. It is such an honor to have this painting in the 2021 Birds and Art Exhibition and to have my work included among such outstanding artistic bird imagery created by artists from all over the world.